You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. Perhaps the main event of the current week could be the so-called minutes. We are talking about the minutes of the Federal Reserve meeting, which allow us to better learn about the sentiments of the voting members of the U.S. Regulators Open Market Committee. But this time there were no surprises, because most of the committee members agree that it is necessary to continue to monitor inflation, which continues to decline. In fact, investors have received confirmation that the Federal Reserve has completed the current cycle of raising the key interest rate. At the same time, profile experts predict the first rate cut only by the end of 2024. Now investors will closely monitor the Fed's willingness to cut rates in the first two quarters of next year. Shifting to the precious metals market, I will draw attention to the unexpectedly strong increase in gold prices. Nevertheless, the quotes failed to fix above the psychological mark of $2,000. This is clearly a bad signal for buyers, but a bullish scenario should still not be ruled out. It will be implemented subject to further receipt of weak macroeconomic indicators from the United States, indicating a slowdown in the economy. After all, in this case, the probability of a reduction in the key interest rate in the first half of next year will increase. Pay attention to the absence of any reaction of oil to the Fed's protocols, because all investors' attention is focused on OPEC's decision to change oil production quotas. Let me remind you that investors are afraid of a further increase in restrictions on oil production by the cartel. This is an effective tool for influencing the price of oil, capable of providing significant support for black gold quotes. Therefore, it is important to closely follow all the comments of OPEC representatives and, in particular, Saudi Arabia. And in conclusion, let's talk about the cryptocurrency market. There have been no significant changes here, because investors continue to wait for the decision of the US Securities and Exchange Commission on a number of applications for the creation of a Bitcoin ETF. One can only note the amazing resilience of investors who continue to buy cryptocurrency in the hope of a positive result. At the same time, it is important to understand that the approval of applications can occur only at the end of 2024, after the US presidential election. Nevertheless, Bitcoin is trading above 36,000, indicating the obvious optimism of investors. But since there is no unidirectional price movement, we can already talk about obvious uncertainty, which may also end in sales. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.